Welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. Um, we are back and we're going to check out the latest Heroclix release from WizKids. Uh, Heroclix is a miniature game where you build a team of figures and battle out with other players. It could be maybe a scenario. Usually you just go out and beat the crap out of each other. What's really cool about the game is the figures are all based off of really well-known properties, so you can mix and match the figures, build some really cool teams. And there's literally a game where you can see who would win in a fight, Spider-Man or Batman, Superman versus Captain America, so on and so forth. So you can get really, really uh, awesome battles going. On top of that, the properties aren't just Marvel and DC. You've got Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, we've got some Lone Ranger. We've got Lord of the Rings. Tons of different properties out there. Uh, you can even have Superman fighting a kaiju from Pacific Rim. So the latest set from WizKids is uh, Justice League Trinity War. It's a DC release. And uh, for those who don't know, the Trinity War was a storyline in DC Comics that involved the Justice League, Justice League of America, and the uh, Justic, Justice League Dark, uh, all coming together to figure out the mystery of Pandora's box. Yes, the mysterious Pandora's box uh, from uh, mythology. So the storyline had all those groups kind of battling it out to figure out what was up with Pandora's box. Eventually it led to the introduction of these folks, the crime syndicate, uh, kind of like evil versions of the Justice League from Earth 3, who then came to our Earth and took it over, uh, defeating the superheroes. Uh, this was like the first major storyline in DC's New 52, and uh, really kind of shook things up to where things are now uh, before the next big change. Um, so I think the best place to start is right here with this Crime Syndicate Fast Forces. So uh, for those who don't know, the Fast Forces is a easy way to build a force, build a team, um, and, and get it out. So it kind of show it off really quick. So uh, it's really quick. You can build a team of usually like 300, 400, 500 points. It's not always the case. Um, it comes with the figures that you see uh, and pretty much most of the stuff that you'll need to get going. So let's crack this open, looking at all the various figures and the content within. Um, for those who maybe want to quickly get involved in the game, Fast Forces is one of the best ways that you can go about that. Highly encourage it. Um, this is one that's, I think, going to be a really cool set. I haven't uh, played it yet or played against it. Uh, I was a huge fan of the actual Trinity War uh, storyline, so to get these figures, I'm pretty psyched. So first, show off what you get in your nice little packet here. Um, so the game, you go and you, you build your force with uh, based off of <clears throat> points that all the figures cost. Uh, you get these cards that kind of tell you what those figures can do. And first up, they always provide you with these nice basic rules that uh, can get you going in the game and kind of tell you uh, generally what you need to know. But it's really, really basic. So this set comes with the Crime Syndicate and all the figures that you can expect. So let's take them one at a time, starting with the kind of ringleader. We've got Ultraman, though I think Owlman would argue with who's the leader. So Ultraman um, gives you, uh, uh, it comes for 250, 150 points. The figure's not bad. The, the sculpt's a little kind of off in the face, but I'm digging the pose a little bit. I mean, he's kind of like leaning forward and staring at the ground so it's a little bit of an odd pose but uh you know i'm kind of happy there's a crime syndicate I i'm digging it um it's a pretty beefy figure i mean 250 points or 150 points but you know he's got he's someone that's supposed to be going up against superman um he's got hypersonic speed move really fast charge so he can easily get in side step get out of the way uh, we got earthbound neutralize precision strike um, he's impervious, uh, he can get impervious and mastermind, um, and you can re reduce damage by three instead of two, which is pretty good, and vulnerability, so he can take a little bit of a beating, combat reflexes and toughness, and then he's got a secret kryptonite recharge, I mean, the thing I love about Heroclix, Heroclix is the flavor they give all the characters is fantastic, uh, when this 
Click is revealed due to taking damage from attack. Stop turning the dial. Give Ultraman a free action and destroy an unheld object within four squares. When you do, Ultraman can use regeneration as a free action. So basically, you hit the dial, destroy something by you, so you better use objects, um, and you can hopefully regenerate a little bit. Um, Sculpt's kind of like a little eh, but beefy, beefy character. Um, let's put these in order and take them one at a time. Uh, next up, this would be the other person that would probably challenge and say that they were the leader of the crime syndicate. Owlman, so Earth 3's version of Batman. Um, a little bit different, this one is Thomas Wayne Jr., not Bruce Wayne. Uh, the figure costs 150 uh, or 100 points, depending on where you start them. So altogether, we're already looking at uh, 350, 400 points just for these two figures. Um, he owns the knight. Uh, my father and men belong to me. Owlman can use stealth. What a shock. Uh, when building your force, friendly characters with a Gotham City or police keyword also have a Gotham City underworld keyword. Uh, into the shadows, he can use charge before being given a non-free action. He may place Owlman in a square, hindering terrain. He's got sidestep. Flurry, what a shock, and Precision Strike, supposed to be, you know, a, a close fighter. All crime profits me in the end. Owlman can use Mastermind and Toughness when he uses Mastermind friendly characters with four, four squares and with the Gotham City. Underworld keyword are considered adjacent. Uh, he's got Combat Reflexes, Exploit Weakness, Outwit, um, and Owlman can use uh, Empower, Enhancement, and Outwit in a one of his various clicks. Um, clearly, your, your close combat experts of the group. See if we can throw them up here, show them off. Uh, next we have Superwoman. Uh, she also is a beefy 150 points. Uh, unlike Wonder Woman on our Earth, Superwoman is actually Lois Lane. Uh, face isn't bad. Sculpt's kind of cool. Positioning's a little neat. Um, 150 or 100 points. Uh, choose your loyalty, Ultraman or uh, Owlman. Again. They do a fantastic job building off of the flavor of the figures uh, throughout the series. It was the question of where her uh, relationship really lied. At the beginning of the game, you choose Ultraman or Owlman. If you choose Ultraman, Superwoman and friendly characters named Ultraman can use Super Strength. Uh, if you choose Owlman, she can... Superwoman can use Combat Reflexes and friendly characters named Owlman modify their defensive values by plus one, if not already modified. So cool, if you use Superwoman and then either Ultraman or Owlman together, you're looking at some bonuses. Pretty, pretty neat. Uh, charge, Flurry, again, we're looking at some uh, close combat action in there. Uh, when it hits a character with a close combat attack, place an unfettered in inhibitions token. This is her lasso of inhibitions released. Um, characters with an unfettered inhibitions token on their card can't ignore pushing damage and can't be targeted by a friendly character's perplex. Character with an unfettered inhibition token on his card may be given a double power action to remove the token. Uh, she also has Quake. Uh, power I love using in games, and vulnerability, toughness, regeneration, and close combat expert. Uh, not bad. I kind of dig uh, they're playing off of the, the flavor of her relationship with those two um, to give them a little bit of bonuses. Uh, for those who read kind of the follow-up series, uh, Forever Evil, it's kind of not, uh, you know, kind of hard to forget Power Man. The uh, Earth 3 version of Green Lantern. Uh, the big thing, unlike the normal Green Lantern who um, uses will to gain his power, the Power Man was kind of a wimp um, and really scared and hated his ring and hated doing all stuff. Uh, he's 100 points. Um, and his first thing is Bully and Coward combined. Lovely. Uh, when Power Ring attacks a figure with a lower point value, modify his attack values by plus one. But when uh, Power Ring attacks a character with a higher point value, modify his attack and damage values by minus one. So, uh, once again, the uh, abilities of the character play off really well with the storyline, and that was kind of what he was in the game, or in the uh, comics. He, when he attacked someone that was weaker, he was the big tough guy. When anyone with a little bit of toughness and strength bigger than his went after him, he kind of uh, quickly, uh, you know, cowered. Also, he's got attack from position safety. He used running shot and stealth. Again, what a shock. He, kind of a wimp thing for him to do. I don't want to be here with sidestep, uh, earthbound neutralize, the will of all through uh, Powering can use energy explosion when powering hits more than one target with a ranged attack, but chooses to deal all damage to one character, give other hit uh, targets any action, or give the, uh, other hit 
targets and action token. It's also got Pulse, Pulse Wave, another favorite of mine, Involvability, Energy Shield Deflection, I just want to be left alone, Range uh, Combat Expert. So, out in the back, shooting, um, you've got range 7, can target multiple uh, folks, 100 points. Again, not a bad addition. Johnny Quick. So, the thing I really like about Johnny Quick, uh, you know, the face sculpt's kind of a little eh, but what's really cool is they're, they're keeping up the uh, sculpt style that you see uh, from the Flash set. Um, Johnny Quick, so he's got a uh, main line of juice, he has no action toast, so he's hypersonic speed. Uh, when uh, Johnny Quick has one action token, he, uh, he can use charge. When Johnny Quick has two action tokens, he can use sidestep. Uh, where you think he's got plasticity, flurry, precision strike, uh, he can use super senses and willpower. Uh, when Johnny Quick is given a second action token and actions resolve, you may roll a d6 that can't be re-rolled. On a result of one, deal him one unavoidable damage. On a result of five or six, remove an action token from him. So, giving you an ability to keep up and do more stuff. He's got energy shield, deflection, combat reflexes, and shape change. All that for another 100 points. Um, really, the, the motion of movement, I think, is the coolest thing on the figure. Um, the front is kind of a little eh. Um, not too bad, though. I think one of maybe the stronger of the sets. Uh, but cool. Uh, cool figure. Doesn't quite play off the Flash set as I think it would have. But overall, not bad. Uh, next we have Deathstorm. Deathstorm was one of my favorite characters from uh, uh, the end of Trinity War and Forever Evil. I think a really, really cool figure. Um, this sculpt is friggin' awesome. Definitely my favorite of the bunch, uh, bar none. Just check out the, the flames, the, the pose, the use of the, uh, the clear plastic. I mean, that's just a badass sculpt. Uh, he comes in for 125 points. You can give him a double power action, remove uh, one assigned relic or resource attachment from an opposing character within range. Line of fire and place it in that character square. The placed game effect follows all game rules as if it were a rel relic. Um, he's got running shot, sidestep, energy explosion. He used energy explosion, pretty uh, precision strike on uh, one of his clicks, energy shield deflection, toughness, um, regeneration, not really shock. Uh, Owlman is the only smart guy in the CSA. He can use Perplex when Deathstorm doesn't have two Ash Tokens to give him a free action and remove up to four hindering or blocking terrain markers within range and line of fire. And he's got Outwit. Very, very cool figure. I mean, I would probably play him in a heartbeat. 125 points. Um, you know, the sidestep, energy explosion, energy explosion, precision strike, um, running shot. Very, very cool figure. I'm liking him. Um... I mean, his first click at the 125, you're looking at running shot, energy explosion, and energy shield deflection. So, cool, cool figure. I'm liking it. Awesome sculpt. Really, really cool. And what is the CSA without its final member at 25 points? Atomica. Atomica is basically their version of the Atom. Uh, she comes with plasticity, precision strike. She's a traitor to all but my homies. When Atomica isn't part of Crime Syndicate theme team, each time you use theme team probability control, each opponent uh, uh, adds one use of theme team. So that's here. When Atomica isn't part of a Crime Syndicate theme team, each time you use theme team probability control, each opponent adds one use of theme team probability control to their pool if they have a named theme team and haven't already added one this turn from this effect. So basically then the storyline Atomica was uh, originally part of the Justice League or brought on the Justice League and she wound up being a traitor to the group um, as well as Justice League America. Um, bad, bad person. She also dates Johnny Quick. Uh, she's got super senses, exploit weakness. Kind of a cool figure for, for 25 points. Of course, you gotta love the humor of it, of actually having no figure, just the small base, because of what she's supposed to be. So, overall, really, really cool. Um, the set, uh, I mean, it's a beefy, beefy set. Some really, really powerful, high-priced figures. Um, overall, if you were to use them all at their top value, so you're like at 250, 350, 400, uh, 550, 650, 750, 850, 875, 900 points for all those figures. I mean, most games you're looking at 
to 300 points, so 900 points is a pretty, pretty massive uh, force to be given. Um, I think much, much better point-wise than was the uh, Flash Fast Forces pack, which kind of skimped you on the points. Um, overall, the sculpts, though, I'm kind of not too impressed. I think the best of the bunch is Deathstorm. Deathstorm's a pretty badass figure. Uh, the, maybe the second bust is... I'm kind of digging powering a little bit. I mean, the, the, again, the use of the, the clear plastic, though the, the sculpt itself is kind of a little eh. Um, but the main three of Superwoman, Owlman, and Ultraman, I'm kind of, I'm generally j somewhat unimpressed with the sculpts. But overall, again, if you're a DC fan, if you want to check out Hero Clicks, Crime Syndicate, Fast Forces, a great way to start. Um, you're looking at some pretty hefty figures uh, to play. Uh, it gives you some really, really cool options. Um, and overall, it, it does the theme of the story really, really well. Um, it it, it translates it to, to the figures. It translates it to some of their abilities, the, the flavor of the text. Fantastic. Um, Hero Clicks WizKids always does a great job on that. So uh, up next, we're going to actually open up this booster box, which uh, will give you even more options of figures. So come back and check that out. Until next time, this is Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. Keep on rolling that dice and keep it geeky.